Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today I have a story about the simple Christmas on a farm, which I think is a lovely thing. I had many Christmases on a farm growing up because my grandma and grandpa were both dairy farmers in Wisconsin. And so we got to go to the farm each year on Christmas Eve, which was my grandma's birthday. And we celebrated her birthday and Christmas. <laughs> In this book, we will celebrate just Christmas, and I hope you enjoy this beautiful story about a simple Christmas on the farm. It is by Phyllis Alsdurf and illustrated by Lisa Hunt. Here we go. When white frost the barnyard fence posts and snow blankets cover the fields, when boughs of the pines hang heavy, and the snowdrifts pile next to the barn. That's when we start to get ready for Christmas on the farm. Is it Christmas yet, I ask? The little red barn usually looks forgotten and shabby, but today it dazzles in the winter sunshine. Soon, says Daddy. I want to buy a tree and start decorating right away, but Mama laughs and says to slow down. We're keeping things simple this year for Christmas on the farm. A simple Christmas, I ask? What about presents? We'll have presents, Daddy says, but we're going to make them ourselves. We'll focus less on getting and more on giving, Mama adds. I'm not sure I'll like having a simple Christmas on the farm. The next day we trudged through the woods to pick a tree. I want a big one, but mama eyes a small scraggly one. Just right, she says. We drag it home and put it in a tub. Daddy strings it with lights. I loop more along the barnyard fence. Now it's starting to look like Christmas on the farm. Then I have an idea. Let's have Christmas in the little red barn. We'll make our own decorations, says Mama. And set up a big table, says Daddy, with room for everyone who wants to come to Christmas on the farm. Soon it's time to make cookies. Mama rolls out dough and I cut out shapes. Some we hang with ribbons on the tree, some we eat. Mama says we're going to share most of them. Share our cookies, I ask. I hope we'll have enough left for Christmas on the farm. We take the truck into town, bringing our cookies with us. We visit the senior living center like we do each year. This time we hand out cookies and sing Christmas carols. My favorite nurse sings along. I whisper an idea to mama. She smiles and nods. I ask the nurse, will you come sing with us at Christmas on the farm? The next day I hand a cookie to the mail carrier, then several to the farm workers. When the vet comes to visit our cows, I give cookies to her and her kids. We're having Christmas in our barn. I tell them all, will you come? Will you come to Christmas on the farm? One afternoon, daddy pulls me on a sled to grandma and grandpa's house next door. Grandma takes out a basket of fabric scraps, buttons and yarn and shows me how to make star ornaments. Grandma is knitting something, but won't let me see. A surprise, she says for Christmas on the farm. Mama and I work on more gifts. We heat rocks in the oven, then rub crayons over them in colorful designs. And we make coasters using old Christmas cards, one for each person coming to Christmas on the farm. On Christmas Eve, Daddy and I cover a long table with white paper. Mama adds evergreen boughs and pine cones. I set a coaster at each plate and grandma arranges her homemade candles. Grandpa sets a small hand carved manger in the middle of the table. Can you put baby Jesus in the manger, he asks. Now everything is ready for Christmas on the farm. The next morning, I wake to a wonderful smell. I tiptoe downstairs just as mama takes a pan of my favorite cinnamon rolls out of the oven. Merry Christmas, everyone, Grandma and Grandpa call out, stamping snow from their boots. Now I'm getting hungry for Christmas on the farm. A 
pass out my homemade presents. Simply beautiful, Mama says. Grandpa brings out a wooden tool bench he made just for me. Mama and Daddy give me a box of wood scraps of every shape and kind, plus some secondhand tools so I can make creations of my own. I unwrap a pair of red mittens and a winter scarf from Grandma, soft and warm. Every gift is perfect for our simple Christmas on the farm. Some people start pulling into the yard with shouts of Merry Christmas. Friends and neighbors carry crock pots and other dishes into the little red barn. I see a basket of fresh baked buns and a huge tray of Christmas cookies, bowls of roasted potatoes, candied yams, roast beef, and a large pan of tamales soon fill the table. What a feast we'll have for Christmas on the farm. Before we eat, everyone forms a big circle. The little red barn looks magical and bright. We hold hands and sing away in a manger, the perfect carol for Christmas on the farm. We spend the day eating, talking, and playing. People drink hot chocolate and work on puzzles or play board games inside. Some go sledding, skate on a pond, or join the snowball fight outside and the kids win the snowman making contest. It's all part of the fun of the Christmas on the farm. Finally, everyone says goodbye and heads for home. Lights from cars and trucks dot the horizon as they move in a long line along the gravel road. Quiet settles over the little red barn and the stars twinkle above the snowy fields. I try not to yawn. I don't ever want this day to end. I can't wait for next year, I say. I want a simple Christmas again. A simple Christmas on the farm. Well, friends, this book is all about a simple Christmas and has really good ideas on how you can make the things that they talked about in the book, which I'm really excited about. I think I'm gonna try to make some of these star ornaments and these little Christmas card coasters. What a great way to keep your Christmas cards. Some of them are so pretty. I hope you come up with some fun ideas to make your Christmas simple as well, even if you're not on a farm. Thank you so much for reading this book with me, friends. Bye.